Dear students, in this lecture we shall talk about a very important and famous and very extensively used concept of logarithms. Let's get started. Uh, let's give the due to the person who, uh, you know, introduced this concept and that was a Scottish mathematician whose name was John Napier and this is the lifespan of it. We can also try to do etymology of this word, jo Greek language se chuna gaya, and that is logos and arithmos. Logos ka meaning ratio, your reckoning hai, or arithmos ka matlab number hai. So it's going to be a number that we will get from this calculation of logarithms. What will be that number? You know, whenever we calculate the logarithm of a function, it reduces very much to a small value. This is the gist of, uh, you know, the calculation of logarithm. Now, uh, basically, jaise mene aap se ka ke, it will reduce to a very small value. Therefore, we can say it is the inverse of exponentiation. Because in exponentiation, what happens is the value increases very much. So, this is the reverse of exponentiation. So, let's get started with this understanding. Hum, uh, basically, ek equation assume karte that 10x is equal to 100. So, x ki value kya ho, to ye ban jaye 100. This is what we are trying to understand. Agar hum isse logarithm ki form mein likhenge, to ye aise likhenge. This base goes down into the base of the logarithm aur ye jo 10 hai, uski jaga par 100 jump karke idhar aa jayega aur jo x hai, wo dousi side pe shift ho jayega to the right hand side. Now, uh, if I try to put the value of x, I know that 10 raised to the power 2 is equal to 100. So, I can rearrange this and I can put the value of x here which will be equal to 2. So, in this way, uh, I have found the logarithm of this certain value that is 100 when the base is 10. So, this is how the exponent and the logarithms, they are connected. They are like inverses of each other. Now, uh, when I said base, base can be different. Uh, it's not necessary ke base hamisha das ho. It can be any other value. For example, it can be 5, it can be 2, or most importantly, it can be 2.718, which is the Euler's number. And you know it is represented with this E. So I can write E in place of this value in the base of log. When I write this, to main isko collectively ln se show karunga, which stands for natural log. Kyunki aapko pata hoga ki jab hum exponential functions ko study karte hain, jab base mein e hota hai, to hum usko natural exponential function kehte hain. Isi tarike se yahan par logarithm ko hum natural exponential, uh, uh, I apologize, natural logarithmic function kehenge isko. Right? So, uh, this is how we write it. Natural log of x is the, you know, natural logarithm of the value that is x. It is contrary to the natural exponential function, which I have told you in the words. Mein bataya. Now, this uh, is natural exponential function and this is natural logarithmic function. They are inverse functions of each other. This is we understand. Ki. Now, um, order of, uh, you know, it is not dependent upon the order. For example, I will this example. Se clarify if we take a natural log of a natural exponential function, ka, ya hum exponent raise kare natural log of x ko answer will be x because e and natural log they will be cancelled out and once they are cancelled out x will be left this ka matlab hai ke they are reciprocals of each other order pe depend nahi karta hum e bhi pehle likh sakte hain ya pehle exponent raise kar sakte hain aur baad mein logarithm le sakte hain and vice versa now the final thing is the uh, real life importance of logarithms आप देख सकते हैं कि original data plot किया हुआ है, इसमें range जो है वो 50, 55 तक जा रही है y variable की, और जो x variable है उसकी range 80 तक जा रही है, तो जैसे मैंने आपको बता था, log helps to mitigate the data, जो higher values हैं, उनको वो कम करता है, and it becomes more manageable and easy to interpret, इसी तरीके से आप देख रहे log, log transformation, यानि के जो x है और y दोनों के logs को calculate किया गया, तो आप देख रहे है इसकी maximum range decline हो गई है और 80 से इसकी जो range है वो decline होके 4.5 तक आ गई है consequently हमारे पास जो line है it's not a curve anymore it's a straight line and you know economics में हम ज़्यादातर linear functions का analysis करते हैं to make the analysis simple 
So therefore, in economics, the logs may it be a simple log or natural natural logarithmic functions. They are going to help us to linearize the functions of economic nature, or our analysis to linearize करके आसान बना सकते हैं. So this is how we understand logs and their probable application in economics. Thank you.